It's open. Unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. <sighs> Nothing good's gonna come of this. We better prepare for the worst. Let's just hurry. It's too soon to assume the worst. I won't let you die. All set and ready to come. No love lost.
no plan of attack. I'll make it. No, almost empty. There really can't be a lot of soldiers left. You killed her. I wish I'd known you were paying a visit. I'd have found a much more practical use for this thing. You, you're... <laughs> you can call me X. And this is... Well... He's just some underling, so I don't actually care. Anyway, I count myself lucky. I mean, you popping up while we render judgment. A judgment, is it? Oh! Do they actually work it out? Work it out? Oh, what? You didn't? Way to get my hopes up. I thought you came because you worked out what's going on with the colony ranks. With the ranks? Yes, the ranks. You've been so desperate to raise them. Just for a bit of comfort, you snatched away the lives of your enemies. Are you gonna get to your point? Come on! Oh! Are you some kind of idiot? I mean, I've laid it all out for you. Just think a minute, it'll come to you. Snuff off! Ah. Oh. I'll make it so you dopes can understand. Are you ready? Taking notes? It was us who made up all the colony ranks. Good old Mobius. <gasps> what? First we have the lowly dirt, then there's tin. Tins go up to copper. Then you get iron. After that comes steel. Then you get the badass silver. And finally, you've hit the top gold. We've been falling over each other, trying to kill each other day by day. <sighs> but why? What did you even make the ranks for? Because what else is going to motivate you, eh? What? You humans, you need some kind of goal in your little lives. You want to give your blades an upgrade? 
You want to eat some nice food? Or you want to live longer? You evil! All we did was give you those goals. And while you're trying to rise up, your life force grows brighter! So shiny! Isn't it wonderful? But then, once you've reached the top, there's nowhere to go but down. And that's no good, is it? Then it's harvest time! One last gasp of defiance! Then we take what's stored up at your life's end. So then, you're saying the gold rank's nothing but a sham? I just told you, it's to motivate you. Oh yeah, you motivated us real good. You forced us to fight without ever knowing the truth. Huh? What are you even... You've done a good job tearing the place up yourselves. Nobody's ever forced you to do anything. You guys, you like a spot of murder as much as anyone. There's nothing to like about it. How could anyone like it? We live in fear, knowing nothing but fighting. We wanted to reach gold, so we wouldn't have to fight. But you... You took even that from us. Because you're idiots, surely. Just think about it real hard for one second. Who gave up the right to think for themselves? You did. What a load of crap! You're the ones who never left us any room to think about our actions! You haven't got two neurons in your heads. All you have are the things we gave you. And you have the gall to complain? <laughs> Arthole! You ain't getting away with this! How can our lives mean so snuffing little to you? Uni! She just goading Uni to make feathers ruffled. Keep it frosty. But she's... False. She's scared of Ouroboros. She wants mistake making so she can give friend the finisher. You think she's scared? You. Smart cookie, aren't you? I was told Nafon aren't supposed to interfere. Maybe they were wrong. Well, whatever. It messes up my plans just a little. But I think it's about harvest time. I'll take every last spark. New allied colony data.
Oh, 
Get the hang of this. Killing Mobius and all. Cheers for the compliment, but I'll tell you one thing. I ain't doing this because I like it. I'm just doing this to survive. You don't change. You're still just a grunt. You're desperate to kill just because you're afraid of dying. That's where you're wrong. This isn't just for me anymore. A lot of people's hopes are riding on this. So now, I ain't afraid. 
I'll carry these hopes as far as I can. Until we've made the world how it should be. Oh? Well said. Alright, how far can you take this? Guess I'll wait and see. Oh, look! Just can't wait to escape, can you? <laughs> well, of course. I'm a busy girl, after all. Can't spend all my time playing with you. Bye-bye! What's it all been for, eh? All of our fighting. We struggle on and on. But at the end of the day, it never ends. As long as we live, all we can do is fight on. That's not going to change. You're saying there's no escape? Depends how you look at it. Sourcing ingredients and growing crops. You'd call doing those things a struggle, wouldn't you? You say some weird stuff. Fight, struggle, they're just words. And what's important is not the words, it's what you do. In it, what's inside's the most important thing. You know, I think I'm starting to get it. I've got you, Ethel, and all the others to thank for it. So, you're not afraid anymore, then? We're the same as everyone else. We're not perfect. Even now, we still feel fear from moment to moment. And still, you'll go on. Yeah. We want to make sure we'll walk the path we want to, just like Ethel once did. No matter where it goes, right? Today's our lucky day. Monica, can we talk? What's up? Sounds ominous. We were hoping we could ask you about someone. Guernica, in fact. About Dad? Everyone in the city speaks so highly of him. But we still don't know a whole lot about him. I think we owe him that much. All right. Where do you want to start? You were brought up by him, right? So... We thought you'd probably understand him better than anyone else. Ha! I wish that were the case. The Guernica Van Damme that I knew was a man that I always looked up to. He was always busy keeping the city together or fighting out on the front line. Always distant. After I chose a military life, he didn't even talk to me like a parent anymore. You mean... You weren't on very good terms. I got to know the man, I think. But not the father. I just thought that we'd have more time together. Huh. Hey, boss. You're making the kids feel guilty. <sighs> Sorry. I don't blame you guys for any of this. Dad. Guernica died in the line of duty, trying to accomplish his aim. But that's not all. He died fighting for what he believed in, 
and he saw it through. Of that much, I'm sure. For what he believed in. Well, about that, there still might be a bit of unfinished business there. He sure was adamant about getting stuff home to people. Yeah, for certain. Sorry, what do you mean exactly? Personal effects from the deceased. Things that family and friends can remember them by. We don't leave any other mark behind that says, we were here, you see? If there are people waiting for you, then you just want to leave something behind, whatever it may be. I was in the rear guard. I know just how dangerous that battlefield was. <laughs> Maybe it's better not to dwell on that. Hmm. But there are personal items that have been left behind though, right? Huh? Maybe you'd let us do something to help out with that. It must be really painful for the people who never got the chance for closure. Yeah, right? I'm starting to get a handle on how they see things in the city. Sort of. But if there's something we can do about it, I want to try to help. I appreciate the sentiment, guys. But why go to all this trouble? Well, we'll get some closure from doing this too. We were losing friends every day. And before we became Uroboros, some of us used to be offseers. Guernica went to all that trouble for others. And when it happened, he was thinking of everyone waiting for him in the city. So I'd like to help his voice find its way. Hmm. Much appreciated. Speaking personally, good on you. Travis, could you pull up the tactical register? Roger that. Give me a moment. There's the data. We've got a list of deceased soldiers and the likely locations where they fell. Could you check out the waypoints around El Feso Valley? That's some impressive precision. Kind of you to notice. See, that's the thing about us lost numbers. We just don't know when to quit. <laughs> okay, guys. It's up to you now. When you're done, could you meet me at the Remembrance Stones? Got it. You have my word. So that's the state of affairs. A surprise attack! Cute! Come on in! Getting warmed up. Oh, good thing we found this. We've been spotted. First blood. Nice food, tile. Keep them in check! Oh, 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 oh
Charge off on your own. You itching to get wrecked? Demolition! DM! We're dealing with Appreciate it! No luck! I don't fear them! Green! Appreciate it! We've brought their belongings. Thanks. Means a lot. Can you lay them out here? Now you mention it, didn't Monica put an eye patch here? Yeah, that was Guernica's. What does it mean exactly? Placing people's belongings here? Uh, how can I explain it? Um. You guys have off-seeing, right? I guess this is our version of that. Off-seeing for city folk? Hmm. You got here first. Boss, we were waiting for you. Brother, you. Zuo. You made it back. Hiwa. You always kept such good care of this. Now look at it. I just wish that... we could have talked more. But... you're home now. Thanks to you, these people got a chance to say farewell to their loved ones. And I got to fulfill Dad's dying wish. Thank you.
You're finally home. These people, they weren't just sacrifices. They've entrusted us all with the future. As the Founders did, looking back is not an option. So that was enough seeing. The sound of that music, it's really something else. I don't think anyone here will forget this day, as long as they live. The Fallen never got to win their battles, but maybe now they can get some rest. Yeah, finally. Speaking of, you ought to get some rest, too. You're gonna to be pretty busy from now on. You said it, boss. Wait, wait, just how busy are we talking here? From now on, I'll be traveling with Noah's crew. Huh? But then who's gonna handle things in the city? You'll be here, won't you, Travis? <sighs> like father, like daughter, eh? Dad spent his life on the front line, and I want to carry on that tradition. I understood that when I heard the Offseer's play. It has to be me. I have to carry on his legacy, fulfill his hopes. I'll fight for you now. Call on me any time you need my help. Thank you. That's truly heartening. I hope we'll get to know each other outside of battle too. There's so much I'd like to ask you. About yourself, the city. No worries. A word of warning, guys. The boss's stories are long. If you've got time to rip on the boss, I might just assign you some more duties, Travis. Oh. Well, at least I won't have to worry about the city while I'm gone. Just holler if you need me. We'll take you up on that. We're on the front line. Hold on a minute. Me. 